watching the entrepreneurial SME. And if you've just joined us, we're looking at what it takes to run a small scale commercial farming business. My guest is managing director and founder of Kenokata Farms, Quinti Ravupala. Quinti, the industry of agriculture is currently going through hell, specifically in the poultry industry, right? Yes. Uh, but I'm sure there are always issues with farmers. There, what are the challenges that you face in your space currently? Okay, so in, in agriculture, the challenge that we have, it's a chicken and egg situation, which must come. Okay, this, this time it's not literal, you mean yeah. something else. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> we mean something else. So first, uh, lack of funding. Uh, if you go to a funder and you tell them about an idea without records, without uh, lessons, nobody's gonna listen. So basically you need to start before you look for funding. Yeah. And where do we get the money to start? Markets. Also, when I come to you, I say, here is my product. Um, can you buy it? But if I come, I say, um, retailer, whoever, I've got an idea. This is what I want to do. Nobody will listen. But sometimes when you say, here's my product to market, they say, do you have scale? Right? They say, well, yes. could you give us 10,000 of these every week? Yes. And then you In need your own 1.5 hectares. Yes. <laughs> then the partnerships, that's where it, it comes. Okay. And, and I feel that in Talk to me about that. Yes. So if uh, uh, somebody says, I want 10,000 of this, I must be able to go to my fellow farmers and say, guys, here's an opportunity. Yeah. Uh, so and so wants this. Can we club together? Can we aggregate? And that's what we are doing yes. uh, with the, our current contract with uh, One Farm Share, which is run by Hello Choice. It's a partnership between Hello Choice and Standard Bank. So they distribute food to charities. Yeah. They are one of our clients. They say, Quinty, give us five tons of tomatoes. Then I go to my network of farmers. I say, OK, guys, this is what's needed. We go, we collect, then we bring them to our pack house. You pack. brand it as you. Yes. <laughs> I like that. Yes. I, I got to ask you this question, mm. right? I don't understand people like you. Yes. So farmers wake up at 4 a.m., if not earlier. They look up the sky, they pray for rain, or pray that rain stops, right? They work harder than anybody else. And then they produce a product or a crop or, or livestock, but then somebody else decides price. Yeah. Like, why would you get into a business where you don't have control over the price of what you produce under such hardships? Yeah, that, that, that's the challenge. I think for us to... Um, move away from people deciding how much our product sh uh, should cost. This is why we opted for this. Because once I do this to the product, I differentiate it from uh, farmer A's yes. spinach. Mine is different, hence so I can- So you're not bringing me bundles of spinach, no, you're bringing me I a bring product that's already yes. packaged. And that's already packaged, and washed, all you do, you just season it according to your needs, and then you are ready to go. And this works for um, the middle class. Yeah. People are stuck in traffic. They can't think about what to cook when they get home. When we were running in Uber, it was easy. Then you quickly just go to Uber and then you buy yourself uh, dinner. Now I know where the master's degree comes yes. in. <laughs> <laughs> 1 1.5 hectares can't be enough, right? No. You are accessing from other farmers, but what's the dream? What are you looking to do in the next few years? Um, currently, we are on a drive to look for funding. Uh, because I do acknowledge that we need to be compliant. We need those certificates so that we can assess, access their... their I would have thought there's lots market. of government funding for this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very difficult to get. And, you know, our government, they, they take time. So if you have to wait for government, you would wait forever. So I'm looking into the private sector to attract funding for us to build a proper pack house that will allow us to get compliance for it. I'm also spending a lot of money um, for uh, the size of my business. I'm spending around 70,000 a month on transport. So I'm looking into getting my own trucks uh, refrigerated and open so that I can collect the produce and then I send them to my clients uh, at the temperature which they want. So we are currently looking for funding. So anyone out there, He's got uh, funding to spend. <laughs> so I've got five last yeah. questions and they're very quick. They need yeah. one word answer, okay. all of them. Right. Have you ever thought of quitting? No. Why not? I can't go back to work. <laughs> what keeps you going? Uh, my employees. They are so dedicated. Uh, I don't want to disappoint them. What do you do for fun? 
uh, I travel, I try to travel, <laughs> and then I, yeah, I spend a lot of time with my kids. Um, Even another chance, would you do this again? I'll do it over and over again. And one last question. Mm -hmm. Coffee, tea, whiskey, or moringa? Coffee. <laughs> I would have thought moringa. Queen no. It's been wonderful having you here, and I wish you all the best going forward. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching the Entrepreneurial SME. From me, Rems Mabote, good night and God bless. Talcom Business, behind South African businesses' drive to thrive.